Hello again, race fans. Welcome to race day here in good old Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm your host, Crazy Cliff. The white stuff finally came down for a visit, but it didn't stay for long. As the temperature rose throughout the morning, the snow melted and became slush. However, we did manage to get a 16 monster truck race off just before it all melted away. Up first is the Dragon, and today the Dragon will be driven by Brandon Sagram. Crew chief for the Dragon today will be Piggy Nascar. New Earth Authority Police. Driver for the NEA Police today will be Aaron Waller. The crew chief will be Batman and Minecraft. Second race for round one on the first lane will be the Megabyte and the driver today will be Michael Mathis Jr. Crew chief for the Megabyte will be 78 Fish Bait. There's the Bounty Hunter taking on the Megabyte on the second race of round one and the driver for the Bounty Hunter today is Darth Shaggy 316. That's area code 316. Crew Chief will be Panthers Fan Cam. Here's the Magenta Avenger. The driver today for the Avenger will be Zachary Dorr. Crew Chief for the Avenger will be Hot Wheel Racer Mike. The Avenger will be taking on the Wrecking Crew in race three of round one and its driver will be Monster Jam 1000. Wrecking Crew's crew chief for today will be Kyle Nickenbacher. All right, Max D is on the fourth, fourth race for round one and the driver today for the Max D will be William Montgomery. Crew chief for the Max D today will be Grady Robert. Max D will be taking on the Captain's Curse. Captain's Curse driver will be Monster Jam Sign-Up Series. The Curse's crew chief for today will be DDD Gaming for Life. Virginia Giant comes in on race five of round one. The driver will be Cadence Shelley. Crew chief for the Virginia Giant today, Jenny Moore. The Virginia Giant will be taking on Team Hot Wheels Firestorm during round one. And the Firestorm's driver for today will be Cameron Smith. Crew chief for the Team Hot Wheels Firestorm, Lennon Watkins. All right, Bigfoot number one. Driver for the Bigfoot today will be Matt Robinson. Crew chief for the Bigfoot one will be Lego Fan 506. Barbarian comes up next, driven by J. Crespo Productions. Barbarian's crew chief for today will be Victor Torres. Faster the Draxter will be driven by Drake No Sick Days Newton. Crew Chief will be Zippy Fiddle. Faster the Draxter will be taking on the one and the only the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Today the Mottweiler, uh, today the Rottweiler will be driven by Brett Twelmeyer. And the Crew Chief will be Casey Keynes. The one, the only, the legend, it's Gravedigger. Today's Gravedigger driver will be Miguel Lopez Lopez. Crew chief for the Gravedigger today is NC Craft 04. Gravedigger will take on the debut of the BKT in the 124 scale here on Fast of the Draxture, and today's driver will be Isaac Vasquez. The crew chief for the BKT today will be Chevy Evolution. Who's ready for racing? I know I am, folks. Fasten your seatbelts, don your helmets. It's go time. Today's emergency services provided by Team Backdraft. All right, it's round one. It's race one. Dragon will ride lane one. NEA police in lane two. All trucks, all races will be released on green from the light tree today. Trucks are staged on the line and ready to go. Here we go. It looks like the NEA police has grabbed the win. Let's see what it looks like down here. That does not look like Dragon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Wait a minute. Is that the Avenger? What in the world, dude? 
How is the Avenger? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Who the heck put the Avenger on? Oh my gosh. Houston, we got a problem. Uh, okay, that's fine. Folks, we've been uh, instructed to just go with it for now. It looks like the dragon did not make it to the line, but any A police will take this run as the winner and we'll be moving on to round two. Uh, they're gonna be figuring out what happened to the dragon. Uh, anyway, it's round, uh, it's race two of uh, round one. We've got Megabyte on uh, lane one and the bounty hunter on lane two. It's a little hard to see it from here. Looks like somebody's done a wheel stand. Looks like Megabyte did a wheel stand and the bounty hunter is gonna grab the win. Yeah, the Megabyte kind of fumbled on a little bit of the snow and the Bounty Hunter is going to take the win and move on to round two. Okay, this is race three of round one. The Wrecking Crew is taking on the Avenger. Uh, I wonder if the Dragon is going to show up now. So far, it looks like the Avenger is on the line again uh, against Wrecking Crew. And we go. Well, there's no surprises here. The Avenger did take the race, and it looks like the Wrecking Crew has taken the win. Wow, what a jump from the Avenger. That was incredible. Yes, uh, we're basically still trying to figure out what happened there. They're going to let us know. They, they tell us right after this round. But it looks like the Wrecking Crew is going to be moving on to round two for now, folks. So, here we go. This is race four of round one. Captain's Curse taking on Max D. Max D will be taking lane one, and the Captain's Curse will be riding lane two. Trucks are staged, ready to go, and there they go, and... Oh, wow, looks like the Captain's Curse. Big time, big time win. I think he's the first truck to get past the cones. Wow. Lane one seems to have some great air for these trucks, but they need to, they need to focus on getting down so they can get closer to the... The finish line there. Both trucks landed pretty good, and the Captain's Curse takes this win, no problems at all. He will be moving on to round two. All right, here we go. Race five of round one. We've got Virginia Giant taking on Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. Virginia Giant will be riding lane one, and the Team Hot Wheels is in lane, lane two. I can't really see who won there. Looks like Virginia Giant had the lead. Perfect air by both trucks. They're both on their backs, on their sides, rather. Yeah, the Virginia Giant had the lead all the way down, and let's get a better picture, a little bit straight. These GoPro cameras have a little bit of curved lens, so you don't necessarily get a straight line, so we have to take the photograph of the different camera. And it looks to me like the Virginia Giant just takes it literally by it maybe a half inch and we'll be moving on to round two okay here we go without the lay race six of round one bigfoot number one taking on the barbarian the bigfoot will be riding lane one the barbarian is lane two and there they go wow bigfoot had the lead off of lane one that time too tumble to the end let's see who uh i can't really see yet Bigfoot had it from the ramp. It looks like the Barbarian's got a little bit better of a cartwheel, so... It looks to me like, yep, the Barbarian will be moving on to round two, taking out Bigfoot. We are already at race seven of round one. We've got the Faster the Dragster in lane one and Monster Mutt Rottweiler in lane two. Ah, looks like another tumble tumble contest at the end there. It appears to me that the Rottweiler is in the lead there. Oh yeah. 
Faster the Drax was laid out on his side, the Rock Waller moves on to round two. And there you have it. Rock Waller takes the win. This is race eight of round one, the final race of round one. The debut of BKT, which is going to be in lane two, and the Grave Digger is in lane one. Wow. Looked like BKT had a good start off the line. Well, lane one keeps tumbling out trucks, it seems. Nice air, and then the Grave Digger kind of loses control. Wow, that's a really close one. Let's get down there and take a look. It looks like the BKT's debut was a good one. And he just takes it literally by a hair. Literally. All right, folks. They're still making up their mind about Dragon. I have no idea what they're going to say about it. Uh, it's a mystery to everyone here on the track. So I guess we're just going to have to find out what happens. What they uh, come up with in, a, in the boardrooms over at Faster the Dragster's headquarters. Anyway, welcome to, round, no, welcome to round two. This is race one. The NEA Police. Uh, possibly taking a controversy win from the dragon, which didn't show up. It's taking on the bounty hunter here. Let's see who's the winner. Nice long ride down the ramp. Wow, big, big air by the NEA. Wow. And it looks like the bounty hunter held him back. Still can't see who the winner is yet. Nice air. Yep, the bounty hunter is going to be moving on to the semifinals. There you have it. Good racing. All right, race two of round two. We've got the captain's curse taking on Wrecking Crew. Looks like Wrecking Crew is in lane one. Captain's curse is in lane two. Captain's curse is off the line first. Down the ramp first. And it looks to me like he may have got the win. Let's... Yeah, he's in the lead all the way to the cars. Yeah, he's probably got the win here. Looks like the Wrecking Crew kind of took a right and ended up on his side there. Yep, no problems at all. The Captain's Curse makes it to the cones again. Big jumps by both trucks. Fantastic racing. The Captain's Curse has made his way to the semifinals, folks, leaving the Wrecking Crew behind. All right, here we go. This is race three of round two. There's just two more races left. The Barbarian uh, against the Virginia Giant. The Virginia Giant's in lane one. Barbarian's in lane two. Here we go, folks. This is it. Ah, another tumble race contest here. They're both pretty even to the cars. Looks like the Virginia Giant's kind of wobbling a little bit. Boom, big hit. Both trucks are on their sides. Wonder what happened. Oh, wow. A tumble and roll for the win for the Barbarian from lane two. Folks, it seems like lane two is always the lane to be in around here. I don't know why that is. But... Anyway, there you have it. Truth doesn't lie. The Barbarian is on his way to the semifinals, taking out the Virginia Giant. This is race four of round two, the final race for the round two. BKT taking on the Rottweiler in lane one. Oh boy. Rottweiler was definitely first to the cars. Looks like a dead heat down there. Let's see what happens. Nice and slow all the way down. Big air by the, by the old mutt. And they both kind of roll to a gentle end. Rottweiler had it down to the end, and it looks like he is... Yeah, he's definitely the winner of this one. Look at that. He gets it by about a half a truck. And the Monster Mutt will head to the semifinals. All right, the Dragon situation. The board committee has determined that the Dragon, since it did not race this race for some strange reason or the other, will be taking on King Slush... Or, yeah, King Slush in a grudge match. So whoever wins this race, whoever is crowned King Slush, it will be a, I don't know when that's gonna be determined, they didn't say any dates, but it will be coming up 
whoever wins this race. This is race one of the semifinals, folks. We are finally here. Bounty Hunter is on lane one. Captain's Curse is in lane two. Looks like the Captain's Curse had his way down to the hill. Evens out by the cars. Big air by the Bounty Hunter. Wow. Ooh. Clicking and clacking, tumbling and rolling. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Bounty Hunter had it until we got to the cars and then the Captain's Curse made his way to the right a little bit and then he was pushed a little further down the line and he takes the win. There you have it, folks. Our first to head to the final will be Captain's Curse. If you guys want to find out how the Grave Digger 164 scale Masha Truck became our first ever heavyweight champion wrestler, check out the DDWA right now at Diecast Daredevils. Welcome back everybody, Captain's Curse we have just found is on his way to the finals. This is the semifinals, this is race two. This truck will be, whichever winner of this race will be headed, heading off to the final to meet the Captain's Curse folks. It's anybody's race, who's it gonna be? can't tell it looks like a dead even heat all the way to the bottom and then they tumble and roll and it looks like somebody's being fancy on the wheel stand there oh wow the snow is just ever so slightly melting away well with a brutal end and a wheel stand the barbarian just loses this contest to the <coughs> excuse me monster mutt rottweiler as it heads to the final to meet the captain's curse ladies and gentlemen welcome to the finals captain's curse takes on the monster mud rottweiler this is going to be the first truck to win two of three runs takes the contest to start captain's curse is in lane one the rottweiler is in lane two Big air by Captain's Curse, but it looks like the Rottweiler made his way to the right, taking over lane one and making it all the way to the cone for the first win. Wow. Fantastic racing, folks. That was run one, and the Monster Mutt has one, and the Captain's Curse has zero. The Captain's Curse does have some luck on his side, though. He is in lane two, and that does appear to be the lane to be in. Trucks have changed lanes for this run. Let's see who's it gonna be. Looks like the Captain's Curse is, ooh, a little bit of a wobble action. A little bit of a tumble and roll by the dog, and let's see who's it gonna be. Wow! Monster Mutt Rottweiler has just taken this contest, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable racing action, that was a fantastic race. I think the Captain's Curse just kind of lost his way there. But there you have it, folks. King of the Slush. The driver, Brett Twelmeyer. Fantastic driving there today, sir. Crew chief was Casey Keynes today. Ladies and gentlemen, there is your winner of King Slush. It is Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Thank you to everyone that participated in our Choose Your Ride event. We do apologize for Dragon not showing up. We have no idea how that happened. We are working on the details of that, and we will give you that information when the time comes. However, you do have something to look forward to. We now know that the Monster Mutt Rottweiler will be taking on Dragon in some sort of grudge match that will come up and try to figure out how to do that. If you guys have any suggestions for that, just let us know in the comments below and we'll definitely take that into consideration. What we're looking at right now is the list of all the people that chose their ride. Uh, people uh, about a week and a half ago, maybe a week ago, picked two trucks and basically I uh, put their names on a list. There's some people that I, there's like two people that I actually forgot to put on the list. I do apologize for that. I do have your names in the little marquee there. There's one example right there, Adrian Gutierrez Avito. I apologize for not putting you on the grave diggers list. Uh, I've been kind of ill, so. Things happen and you forget and all that good stuff. So it's just been a hard week for me. <laughs> Nonetheless, grateful to get this race off. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for a grudge match that the Dragon could take on against the Monster Mutt Rottweiler, please just leave it in the comments below. 
And again, we do thank you guys for watching all of our shows. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't so you never miss our shows. And I'm quite sure we'll have another Choose Your Ride event maybe this spring. Um, need to get, get a couple other things out of the way first. We're going to do uh, got a lot of little videos coming up. We're going to actually race uh, the, uh, the K-Day cars that we got for Dana Flames. We're going to race those guys on the drag track system and see what happens with that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming out. We will see you next time. God bless.